Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV, my name is Alex, I'm outside Bramwell Lane with Jacob after a 2-2 draw against Sheffield. Deep breath, Jacob. What I saw today was an insult to football as a sport. It was an insult to the word sport itself. Like, we made a couple of chances and we did a couple of... We should not be drawing against Sheffield United. The thing is... Yeah, this manager doesn't have a clue what it, he's doing. We, the players don't know what he's trying to do. We don't know what he's trying to do. I mean, if we can't beat them today, then we're under serious stress. Like, I mean, I'm I'm not surprised. Like, yeah. it's so Chelsea. Is I think Charlie said, gone from beating United to. Losing to to drawings against Sheffield, like you look at the United game and we could have lost. We got lucky at the end, really. You look at how many goals we conceded recently, and it's all, and it's not good. Like I, I feel like one or uh, if we can go and, or if we bring in Antonio Silva, that could help. Maybe we need Antonio but as, Silva. Yeah, centre back, good oh, centre -back But I feel like investment's all good, but if. The coaching's not going to be there, then there's no point investing all the money, and I think that's a problem with, and that's why you don't blame how much money's getting spent. You blame the coaches, and they're not yeah. developing these players. Also, it's about what you spend your money on. Yeah. Well, you spend a lot of money, but what are you paying for? And that's been the problem a lot of Chelsea fans yeah. have had. And um, what are we paying for? Um, Raheem Sterling. I mean, what are you paying for? Well, he, he wasn't on the pitch today. And he wasn't. Thank God. Pochettino got one thing right, um, but. Like, what are, what are the owners paying for? What are we paying for? Watching our team get a draw against Sheffield United. What are we paying for? What are these owners paying for? And why is the manager getting paid? <laughs> like, this guy has not got a clue. I I want to be positive, but I'm I'm sorry, but I've suffered for this long enough, and something needs to change. So you, you, you've had enough. I think our fans have been more patient than a lot of other fans would be. I think we've been on the more patient. The fact is, some of us are saying put you in, some are saying put you out, but some of us are being. I think I've been patient to some extent. Being patient, and these players just. Like, there was, I thought Cucurelli did a couple of bits, Madweke did, but. A couple of players doing a couple of bits, Jackson did a couple of bits, isn't going to get you wins, and it's not going to get you Europe, I can guarantee you that. Right, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you, Jacob. Pleasure. Go on then. What do you want to say? What's your name? T. T? Yeah, man. Nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting what you do you think well. about what you saw? Well, <laughs> I think everyone in the Nam's dog knew not what was going to happen today. Like, the game against Man United now doesn't mean anything at all. I'm trying to really pinpoint the underlying factor, like what it comes down to. Is it mentality? Is it the players? Is it the manager? For me, it's naivety, naivety from the manager. End of the day, you're trying to you're trying to shout a game against bottom in the league. Like they're chuffed with that. They're coming away like they've won the game again. That that Man United game now doesn't mean anything. Unfortunately, I'll give them credit. I think they're number fifteen at big centre back. I think he absolutely bullied Jackson. To be honest with you, um, he's bullied him. But again, the subs. End of the game, you're trying to shout a game. You're bringing on Mudrick. Okay, the second goal. How does it come from? He doesn't win the second ball. Doesn't win the header. He's flapped it, they're going to score. And I knew I kept saying um, the people that are around me, McBurney, McBurney, he had a couple of chances before, guaranteeing scores, and look what happens. You know what I mean? It's just a kick in the teeth. Uh, when are we going to learn? Uh, I'm just struggling to, to pinpoint what, what we're going to do, how it's come to this, you know what I mean? It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing, it is embarrassing. You know, again, Man United, look how brilliant that was. We come here today, you think, all right, what more motivation do you need? You know what I mean? The team's around us. Um, they've dropped points. We've seen United and Liverpool draw again today. Go and beat them. Put ourselves in contention for Europe. And un unfortunately, I feel like it's just another two steps back. We've got Everton next again. St struggle to break the uh, teams down. What's going to happen there? You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, it's disappointing, man. It's really, really disappointing. And, and you know what? The, the real kick in the teeth is, uh, don't get me wrong, I know people from here that come from all over the country. As you can tell, I'm not from London, I'm from Birmingham. I've been to many away games this season. Newcastle was one for me, it was bad. 4-1. This feels worse. The end of that game was an absolute disgrace. I think there was Palmer, um, Madueke, Trevor, fair play, had a really good game for me anyway. They've come to clap. The rest of them didn't want to know. Didn't want to know. And that, that for me, 
shows everything about the state of this club at the moment. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can't even acknowledge what's going on. I don't know, man. So many questions to be asked, bro. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Pleasure. Thank you.